Hi, I'm Nick Rummel with Caterpillar Preventive Maintenance. You know, spark plugs live in a pretty harsh condition. Once you break your spark plug loose, and it should turn out easily by hand. If it doesn't, go ahead and squirt a little penetrating oil down in there, work the plug back and forth, it should come right out. Right after we remove the spark plug, and you remove the old gasket, we want to go ahead and clean the spark plug. Now this is a multi-torch spark plug, and this is a standard or a J-gap spark plug. Now when we clean these spark plugs, we don't want to use a wire brush. A wire brush can deposit metal onto the porcelain or get inside the holes of our moldy torch. And it can cause a short, and that will lead to reduced performance with your engine. After you clean your spark plugs, don't forget to regap them with the proper size feeler gauge. The other thing we got to do while we're cleaning is we must clean up the threads and the seat area. Now this tool does not remove any metal like a tap would. If we remove too much metal, then our spark plug could get loose or we don't transfer the heat necessary. So all we do is run this tool down in there. It not only cleans the threads, but it cleans the seat area as well. When we go to reinstall the spark plug, we need to change the gasket as well. As you can see, this gasket, besides being dark, is also much thinner than the other gasket. The new gasket has tabs on it. These little tabs go towards the cylinder head or away from the base of the spark plug. And you just simply thread the gasket back onto the spark plug. Now, when you go to install the spark plug, never put anything on the threads. We need to make sure that the spark plug can transfer as much heat as it can. That helps cool the spark plug. When you install it, you also want to make sure that you torque it properly. You run it down by hand and then use the torque spec found in the service manual. Next, we want to look at the transformer and the extension. We need to make sure that this transformer and the extension are just hand tight together. If they're very loose at all, we need to go ahead and disassemble it and check for arcing or other problems that we could have up there. The other thing we want to look for on the extension is dark spots, which would indicate a voltage leak. If we have a voltage leak at our transformer, we're probably not getting the performance out of this engine that we could. For more information, please contact your local cat dealer or go to cat.com and you can find a cat dealer there.